present for our walk in this world. They resound. Welcome to Weekday Psalms. So glad that you're joining us. And those that have made comments, whether online or uh, see me in person and made comments, I appreciate your comments. I appreciate you watching these. I do hope, as you've said, that they continue to help you to grow. They continue to help you to, to focus on God. And, and as I've told you in person, they are helping me. As I study these Psalms, as I read these Psalms, I'm getting so much from them. And, and my hope is that you are as well. Let me ask you a question. How joyful are you? I didn't ask how happy you are. I asked how joyful you are. How full of joy. You see, many people associate happiness with the circumstances that they face. You know, things are going great in my life, so I'm happy. Or this is going on, I'm happy. I'm happy this, I'm happy that. But joy, at least in my opinion, joy seems to go much deeper. Joy seems to be a, a condition of the heart, a condition of a healthy heart. Uh, a healthy heart condition, maybe a better way to say that. And, and it's deep-seated, and with that type of joy, you can face a whole lot of things because you have this deep-seated joy in your life. Well, I think that God's people, of all people, have had, have, and always will have great reason to be full of joy, to be joyful. I think the psalmist explains that in Psalm 95. Oh, come, let us sing with joy to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. And the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as at Meribah on the day of Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test and put me to proof, though they had seen my work. For 40 years I loathe that generation, and they are a people who go astray in their heart, and they have no, not known my ways. Therefore, I swore in my wrath that they shall not enter my rest. Now, the latter part of that psalm is kind of depressing when you, when you see that there are people that neglect God, but the psalmist isn't really focused on that. The psalmist is focused on remembering the joy of the Lord so that you don't do that. And notice what he says, the Lord is the object of our joy, that he is worthy of our joy. So we need to kneel before him because he is our maker. He is our God. Come, let us sing with joy to the Lord. In fact, when I was well, involved in youth ministry full time, there was a song that we started singing and maybe it was before us, but I just remember it from when we were well introducing it to the young people that we worked with. And it went like this. Come, let us sing with joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. For the Lord is a great God, the great King above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth. The mountain peaks belong to him, the sea is his, he made it. And his hands form the dry land. And his hands form the dry land. So that song comes directly from Psalm 95. And it reminds us that we have reason to be joyful. We have reason to sing because we serve a great God. Be joyful today. Let's go to God in prayer. Thank you so much, God, for giving us reason to be joyful, giving us reason to, to know that we can face whatever it is that, that comes our way because of you. Father, thank you that we have the confidence that we can face trials of various kinds because of you, that like those that the Hebrew writer speaks of, we can even joyfully accept the plundering of our possessions because we know we have a greater possession from you. Or they help us to keep focused on that, no matter the circumstances of life, that we know that you are there for us. And let us rejoice in that. Let us be joyful because we know that we are your joy and your pride. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for the sacrifice of Christ. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for Weekday Psalm. I am looking forward to these. I hope you are as well. I hope you are growing. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. Oh.
let the ancient words in.